So the last class we discussed about uh, the queries. Queries. Yeah. So how to work with insert, update, delete. So all the commands will learn and I hope we have to go for some practicing. So here we are going to use some SQL Server Management Studio SSRS, SSMS SQL Server Management Studio So this is a, generally this is a software where most of the companies will prefer So here we are having so many services, database engine, analysis, reporting, integration services. When you click on database engine service, only we are connecting to database like uh, creating the tables and we are going for creating table. <coughs> here what we are having is creating tables, storing the data into the database table in the form of tables, rows and columns. For that purpose we require database engine service. And, uh, Reporting services are whatever the data we are having you want to generate the reports then we are having reporting service and integration service whether you have SQL Server uh, means uh, 2002, 2003, 2005 uh, in any databases you are having the data you want to generate get the data into the latest databases or you might having the data in any other format like Excel sheet or in any other databases you want to import to SQL Server then I can use integration services and analysis analyzing the data for that we are using analysis services so currently we are going for database engine service and the database name can be either dot or you can use your system name your system name you can use so dot can be universally it will be considered for server name two types of authentication will be there windows authentication and server windows authentication means no need of giving any credentials username password is not necessary when you go for server authentication you must give username and password default username will be as a system administrator and password while you are installing sql server you will give this password what are the password you want you can give that by default it will be considered as a blank Click on connect. So you query here, so many databases will be there, some predefined. So master, model, msdb, tmdb as well as user defined. You can create our own databases. You can create our own databases. So you want to delete any database, right click, delete. You can OK. simple way of deleting it you want to create one more database right click new database
another way of creating a database is select that press F5 So a table database is created, just refresh it once. Now database will have so many things, tables, views, so many objects will be there. So as for edu, edu.net we are going to learn a few things. So it will have DDL commands. You want to drop a database? Simple way is drop database database name. Select this. Press F5. Refresh. Test view is drop. So you want to create or drop? You can use. Wherever you want to create, use the database name. What are the commands you want to use? So use welcome. Under the database, you are going to work. Now, you want to create the table? Simply is create table table name. So two ways you can do. One way is by using commands. Right click new table. This is simple way of creating the table. This is nothing but the structure of a table you are creating. You want to see the structure sp underscore have the table name which will display the structure of a table. Another way of creating a table is by using the commands create table, table name. Money is the predefined data type. So use the parenthesis, not opening and clo close curl braces. So this is the syntax, create table, table name, employee number, the data type, the employee name, worker of 20, which will create the structure of a table. See here. So the columns of the table and the data types. You want to add a column, alter, table, table name, add, bonus is the column which I want to add.
say bonus column is added to the already existing table which is of integer data type one more column I'm adding here alter commission so which is of money data type sorry We are adding one more column to the already existing table. So commission money so of each. Alter table MP add commission money. So this is one more column we have added. I want to change the data of a bonus. EMP want to modify alter. So what you want to do column. Which column you want to column is the keyword which we require for modifying the column bonus I want to modify to the var cap earlier it is integer I modified it to in Alter table EMP, alter column, bonus, where care of 20. Now it is we decrease it to 10. You want to drop a column. Column keyword is required, bonus. The specified column, you want to drop a specified column. See here, bonus column is dropped. You want to drop entire table? Drop table, table name. So you won't have any table here. So to create a table, So you can use this also. Refresh. So you got a table. Now you want to right click design. One more way of seeing the, you want to view the structure of a table so one more way plan number and plan name salary commission This is how to create all these are said to be DDL commands. Now, when we created the structure, I want to insert the data. Right click, edit top 200 rows. You want to insert the data. So simple way of inserting without using any commands. Another way of inserting is insert into EMP imply number values.
select this click on execute SQL now, another way is insert into yeah, the specified columns I want to insert umpire number umpire name salary See here how we have inserted the data. You're going to execute SQL. So this is how you're going to insert the data into the employee table. Now you want to modify the contents of a table. For that you are going to use update command. Update the table name set which value you want to modify like I have given the salary of an employee 106 whose salary is null I want to change it to set salary equal to where employee number equal to 106 Select star from so his salary has been changed. Similarly, update UMP set. I want to change the name of an employee. Where Employee number equal to 107 or you can give the marks also where salary equal to update UMP set employee name equal to Kumar salary equal to 30,000 where salary is null whose salary is null only his will be displayed
So all these are update commands. You want to delete delete from EMP where employee number equal to some condition 108. If at all you are not giving, you are not specifying any where class. Delete from EMP means all the contents of the table will be deleted. So all these are insert, update, delete, all these are set to be DDL, DML commands. So we are going for one more important concept now. ADO.NET. So which will use us for to communicate the front end and the back end. To communicate the front end and the back end, I'm going to use ADO.NET. ActiveX data object.net. Object. So edu.net, ActiveX data object.net. So it's a database technology to communicate the front end and the back end. We are going to use edu.net. So either you want to insert the data from the front end, you want to insert the data, update, delete, anything you want to do from the front end, I'm going to use edu.net. For example, you go for a bank. You might be inserting, uh, submit, depositing your amount. When you deposit your amount, the, um, the you will see only the front end. You don't know you go for any optic um, pharmaceuticals or any insurance companies you can't see the back end only the front end form you will see that can be developed with the help of dotnet or any front end technology so there the dotnet application if you take so you are going to communicate with the back end So the front end application communicate with the back end. Whatever the depositing your amount, that will be stored in the back end. Or you want to know your bank balance. So that also communicate with the back end and going to get the you are going to retrieve them your by giving your account number and account name. Then you are going to get the bank balance. So you want to modify your address. So everything will be done with the help of that also. That only. So that's is simply basically dotnet applications coming using a mediator called driver so basically the mediator is said to be connect uh, communication will be there that simply called as adu.net so the communicating the front end the back end can be done with the help of some mediator a driver or the provider so that simply is said to be adu.net so how we will do means it's a two types of architectures will be there. One is called connected architecture and another one is connectionless architecture. Connected architecture is just like a landline number. So whenever you are calling to the landline number, a connection must be established to us. If connection is not there, we cannot call to, we cannot ring to that particular number. We cannot ping to that particular number. So if when the connection is, if at all you are getting the calls means, it must be, connection must be established. But when you go for a mobile number, uh, like for example, you don't have the network. Whenever you are getting the calls to the particular number, what you will do means where there is a signal, we will go to the particular place. Where there is a network, we will go to the particular place and we will we'll speak. So that is nothing but uh, connectionless architecture is like that. So whenever uh, we are getting the data means, uh, whenever you are retrieving the data, at that time it will establish the connection and we will retrieve the data after the task is complete we will close the connection like whenever you are getting a call in for your mobile so at, at that time it will establish the connection with the network after the task is complete it will 
disconnected means no network establishment is not required for us so that is called as a connectionless architecture so here we will divide all the things into three things so query processing non query processing and stored to send function handling query processing is nothing but simply using select statement i am going to retrieve the data whereas non query processing is nothing but insert update delete all the comes under non query processing and so to say we hadn't gone through it we'll see later so you want to perform more than once means like i want to insert multi 100 times 2000 times like that i want to insert or update anything any task i want to do then i can use either a stored procedure or a functions so stored procedure query processing which uses for retrieving the data from a database using simple select statement Whereas non-query processing, either you want to create a table, you want to modify the structure of a table, you want to insert, update, delete, anything, all DDL and DML commands uses for non-query processing. And sort procedures, basically nothing but whatever you have created, a sort procedure or a function that is already created at the back end which is already created you are going to call from the front end and you are going to work so see the class whatever we require for us so system dot data is in namespace so and system dot data dot sql client system dot data dot oldb suppose you are connecting to sql server then we require some classes like i'm going to create a table from the front end i'm going to create i want to insert the amount deposit as the amount but where the database is there where the server is there so how to specify the location where i'm going to store my details and which database and which table i want to store my details so how to specify the path by using a class called sql connection where i'm going to store my details table in my my details means nothing but table information so in which database, in which server, whether it is Windows authentication or server authentication, all that information will be stored under SQL connection class. Now, what type of command you are going to work, right? Either you want to use insert, update, you are going to do the insertions or you are going to perform delete or update. So what type of command you are going to work, then I can use SQL command class. Now, if at all other than SQL Server, any database you are going to work, then I can use OLEDB, Object Linking Embedded Database. Object Linking Embedded Database. Then you are going for SQL Data Reader Adapter. So SQL Data Reader will be there, especially for, uh, like it will be like you are going to get retrieving the data. When you are retrieving the data, select statement, you want to retrieve the data, then I am going to use SQL data reader when you want to fetch the data from the table then I'm going to use SQL data reader like I want to retrieve only one table from the database you will have more any number of tables but from the backend I want to get only one table at a time you can access only one table into the front end then I can use SQL data reader SQL data reader can access only one table at a time you cannot access more than one table at a time for the front end. Then I can use SQL Data Reader. So that is the use of SQL Data Reader. Now, SQL Data Adapter will be there. If at all you want to get more than one table, then I can use Data Set. Data Set to access more than one table from the front end to back end. Then from the back end to front end. Then I can use data set. Data reader can access only one table, whereas data set can access multiple tables into the front end, which can store multiple tables. But you want to get one table from the data set means data table will be there, which can store only one table. And you want to access a specified row, then I can use data row. You want to get one column, data column will be there. So simply data set is a connectionless architecture data reader is a connected architecture blindly remember when i can use data reader means you want to get only one table i can use 
data reader so where huge number of records are there millions of records data reader will be useful for performance purpose when multiple tables are there you are going to use data set now system dot data so whatever i said want to connect to any databases manipulate to the databases i can use system dot data you want to connect to system dot data dot sql client any databases you want to connect with sql server i can use system dot data dot sql client other than database sql server you want to connect with any other database like oracle sql server anything except sql server then you can use system dot data dot ojdb object linking number database so system dot data dot sql connection sql command so as i said you want to establish with connection with the database sql connection so you are connecting with either you want to insert update delete anything you want to do sql command and data reader especially which hold it acts like a buffer which can hold at a time only one table information and data adapter which executes a query statement at back end so generally data adapter will it don't have any buffer just it will carry the data from the back end to front end so just like and generally sql command uh, sorry parameter can be used it to hold the arguments by using whatever it will send by using as uh, sql parameters and data set is also a buffer that can hold multiple tables data reader it holds a buffer that can hold single table whereas data set multiple tables so data table acts as a host that is can store single table data row that can hold a single row so all these are some simple information now any doubts madhumati so from the fr from the front end you want to connect to the database i am going to use a class called connection string connection class using the providers data source user ids passwords from the front end to back end i want to store then i can use connection class so how you are going to use using sql connection or using oladb connections what all it might be using system dot data dot sql client so data source so as i said name of the server so server authentication you are using user id password and the initial catalog equal to database name initial catalog equal to database name you are going to use so sql connection cn equal new sql connection just open the connection perform the task then after the task is performed close the connection see one simple example then you will understand
we are creating a table. Now, try to execute. Sorry. No. You are going to use an namespace using system.data.sql client. Because I'm going to connect with SQL Server. So from the front end, I'm going to create the database into the back end. So using some class called SQL Connection. Writing a command. So data source. Equal to. Dot database equal to or you can write as initial catalog so what was the name you have given in the back end welcome and so data source is dot database equal to welcome and specify here one more thing like whether you are connecting to Windows Authentication or Server Authentication. Trusted Authentication. Equal to yes. So, as it is window, uh, connected architecture, try to open the connection. Connection.open. message box dot show connection open now use the SQL command Write a command, create table, table name, Simply writing the query. So this query I'm going to execute into the backend. This query I'm going to execute into the backend. So to execute the backend, command dot execute non query. Generally I'm not writing in the SQL server. If at all you are writing in the SQL server, we will select the command, then press F5. But I'm going to write this command into the front end. And I want to execute this command in the backend. For that purpose, I'm going to use execute non-query. This will be used for all DDL and DML operations. Now, write execute.
you can try to create once again See here, we have created a table from the front end into the back end. So, for all you want to know here, one more thing is I haven't closed the connection. So, to write more clearly, in order to raise any errors, use one more raise. So to handle errors, we are having a special concept, accept planning, which you will learn, try, cache block uses for, to handle errors, SQL exception, to handle the any database SQL server exceptions. Other than cache blocks, if at all you are having any other exceptions, handled by exception class. and followed by finally block which uses for to close the connections. So try again once again. See so you are getting in the form of message boxes. Connection closed. So this is a simple way of using communicating with the front end using the back uh, front end with the back end using adu.net actx data object.net now so either you want to connect with oracle sql server anything you will be doing like that only so how do i know whether the path whatever i'm using in my system whether I am using SQL Server, Oracle, what are the path, what is the path I have to know is, so you go for here, a simple process, alt of save, save as, use some name, data dot UDL, universal data linker, so nowadays nobody is using that, but, so this is the only way you are going to follow generally. Right click, open with OLEDV core services. Go for provider. So provider for SQL server, click on next. 
गुरु सर्वांनी विंडो सर्वर नेगेशन सर्वर ऑथेंटिकेशन सो सर्वर मीन्स यू हॅव टू गिव्ह द डिफॉल्ट युजर नेम पास पासवर्ड दॅन यू कॅन गेट द डेटाबेस इफ एनीथिंग इज रॉंग इन दर यू कॅन नॉट ॲक्सेस इन डेटाबेस नेटफ्लिक so this is the path which you are using for windows authentication server authentication or it might be so this will be copied for us if it is sql server so like that this is the process which can be used for oracle anything so here how use for process uh, the path for provider for oracle oracle 8 i like that so for 10g or latest versions again you have to see the process what are what are i shown now go for the same process so microsoft.jet.oledb for 4.0 for oracle uh, access for access if at all you want to connect to the database see here i'm going to show So checking whether I am able to connect with server, oracle and access. Can I connect with server, access or not? So just user ID and password. As I said, for a database I can give as initial catalog, data source. Even I can write it as server equal to server name equal to server equal to server name. So just opening the connection. If it is connected successfully, just disconnect then close the connection. If you go for Oracle, OLEDB connection is CO and equal new OLEDB connection. And here we have the provider MSDA or A.1 for Oracle 10. And user ID system and password will be the manager. Or sometimes default user ID will be Scott and Tiger data source. Here we don't have databases in Oracle. We don't have databases in Oracle. So for access, so I'm using MS Office 2013 for access. So Microsoft.ace.oledb 12.0. So and I'm having a database here. And for Oracle. so we don't have any driver for connecting to means we have to install explicitly to oracle drivers so 64 bit drivers are not there for us for oracle so we are having only 32 bit so we didn't ask i didn't get uh, 64 bit drivers because i'm uh, having 64 bit laptop actually Mm. so that is the reason okay so these are basically how you are using checking how to connect with sql server oracle and access database any database you want to connect with now So query processing, you want to retrieve the data from the front end, 
from, from the back end to front end so connection uh, you are having the data in the back end database establishing the connection with SQL server using the connection class from the connection class you are going to write the command using command class like select star from EMP whatever the command you will write that will be stored in the data reader in the data reader it can hold only one table information at a time a data reader cannot access more than one table information it can hold at a time only one table that can be displayed into the front end so all this is the simple information SQL data reader so data reader here as we are using command dot execute non query for all insert update delete top but for select statement execute reader so execute reader uses for to retrieve the data from the table into from the back end to front end for executing that command select statement I can use execute reader and like when I can use execute reader means suppose you want to return select star or select employee number employee name salary from EMP or select employee name employee number salary from EMP where employee number equal to 101 so you are going to return more than one new value from your table then I can use execute reader suppose you are retrieving only one value select max sal from EMP only one value you are going to return then you are going to use execute scalar when you are using only one value you want to return then I can use execute scalar so dr dot treat so when you are going to use only one whatever the values you are retrieving dr data reader can hold all the information whatever you are getting from the table that will be holded by data reader so dr dot read what it will check means whether you are having in any information is there in the table or not like for example so it will check whether you are having a record or not dear dot read equal to true means the first record exists then it will check dear dot read of first record dear dot read of zero means first record first column so whether the first record exists means yeah first record first column first record second column dot dear dot get value of zero that is first record first column get value of one first record second column get value of two first record third column first you get value of three first record fourth column if your dot read is true suppose then it will check whether the second record exists or not your dot read equal to true means at the current position it will check whether the second record exists or not if the second record exists the same process it will continue get value of zero get value of one get value of two get value of three so like that it keep on continuing even one more command is there here so I didn't perform here commission calculation set commission equal to 15% of the salary I'm not giving uh, you want to give where condition you can give where employee number equal to 101 whose employee number is 101 only his salary is calculated see here or I don't want to give his don't give where condition So you can use update command like this also for calculating the columns for modifying the content both the things I can use. So in the next session I am going to work on these commands. So query processing, non-query processing, stored procedures and function handling. We will see that. Any queries? Okay.
So tomorrow at same time we will have the class. Thank you. Okay, bye.